Hi, I'm Nana Gill and I want to be a superhero! And this week, the superpower that I'm trying to get is the power of the Earth. You know, I was really happy with our experiment yesterday. We learned that with enough water, we could use its power to lift heavy things. So cool! So I put a whole lot of buckets outside last night to collect all of the rain. Problem was, it didn't rain. So I was thinking, why hasn't it rained? And that made me think, why does it rain? And then I got wondering, where does the rain come from anyway? And then I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna eat a cookie. And then I felt good. Okay, I was also thinking about how we could do an experiment that puts together everything that we have learned this week and helps us to understand rain. So let's recap. This week we've learned about wind and heat and water. So how do they all work together to make rain? Allow me to explain. <gasps> that rhymed. Honestly, I should totally be a poet. Anyway, now we already know some things about how air and weather move around the earth. We know that hot air rises and this helps to make wind and actually very strong winds up in the sky. They can blow rain clouds over our heads. We know about cycles of hot and cold air and these are called convection currents. And we know about water. But did you know that all the water and all the weather in the world is actually connected? It flows through this gigantic cycle of rain, rivers, oceans, and clouds. That's right, rain actually comes from our oceans. Now I know what you're thinking, if the rain comes from the oceans, why doesn't it taste salty, like salt water? Well, that's a really good question, and it's one that we're gonna answer with today's experiment. You are going to need Two bowls, one of them much larger and deeper than the other one. Some food wrap or some soft plastic packaging that's been left over it needs to be big enough to cover the biggest bowl. Scissors, a spoon, something heavy like a little rock or pebble or a bit of blue tack, some salt and some hot water. So this is going to show something called the water cycle, which is how all water on the earth is actually connected. We're going to model our oceans and our clouds and our rain from this experiment. So first, get a grown-up to help you by pouring some hot water into the largest bowl. You don't need very much, maybe just a couple of centimetres. So this is going to be my ocean. Now, if you've ever swallowed a mouthful of seawater, you will know that it tastes disgusting. It's so salty. And we're going to mimic that by adding some salt to our ocean water. Gonna put a spoonful in here and we're going to mix it until it's all dissolved. Now the reason we use warm water is because we want to show what happens when the heat from the sun warms up the ocean. Now this happens all over the world where the surface of the sea on hot sunny days is exposed to the sun's rays. Now once your salt is all dissolved, wash your hands and then you can dip your finger in to taste it. What do you think it's going to taste like? Ugh, 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 it's salty. Ugh, it's disgusting. Yuck. Okay, next, you're going to place your smaller container right in the center of the larger one. Now, make sure you don't get any salt water on the inside. This is going to pretend to be a landmass, like an island that could be in the middle of your ocean. Next, cover the top with your plastic. Make sure it's fully sealed all around the outside. Now what you should be able to see is on the top, it's starting to form clouds. Can you see them? They look a little bit like they're steam on the top of here. So these are gonna be our clouds forming right away. Now you're gonna take something small and heavy and you're gonna place it directly on the top of your plastic wrap here. And that's just going to cause it to dip in the middle. So anything we form in our clouds here is going to drip into our bog, which is our island. Now you're going to leave this for about 10 minutes or longer if you can wait that long and see what happens. Okay, so after you've left it for about 10 minutes or more if you can, you should see some cloudiness forming on the top of your plastic wrap. In fact, you could even take a pen and draw some clouds on the top to remind you that that's how clouds are made. Now, on a sunny day, the heat of the sun warms up the surface of the ocean. 
and some of the warm water warms up so much that it turns into water vapour, which is a bit like steam that you see coming out of the top of the kettle. Now this rises into the air, but the thing is the salt is too heavy, so it gets left behind in the ocean. Convection currents, they carry the water vapour up high into the sky through a process called evaporation. It's cooler in the sky, so the water vapour cools down and lots of tiny droplets of water vapour start to clump together to make bigger droplets. Eventually, these droplets become clouds, and we call this process condensation. Take a look at the top of the inside of your plastic wrap. Can you see the droplets of water vapour clumping together? forming bigger droplets. Eventually, they'll become too heavy to stay in the air, and so they'll fall out of the sky as rain. Now, our weight directs these droplets to fall into our small bowl, or our island, and you can see there's a little drop right there that just fell in. Now for the moment of truth. I, Nanogirl, in the name of superhero science, will drink the water from the bowl. If I'm wrong, and the water is salty, then there's a very good chance that I will make a bleh face. But if I'm right, I won't be thirsty anymore. Yeah. Wait, what? What? What's that, Nana Nana girl? You want to, you want to see me make my blur face? Well, hopefully I won't, but there you go. I'll put you down here and you can watch and see what happens. Okay, here we go. Shall I drink the water? I think I should in the name of superhero science. Here we go. Let's open it up. And let's take the water. Do, 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 do. Ooh, that's tasty. Huh, no blur face. That's good. Then this experiment is a success. And I'm challenging you at home. See if you can drink the water without making the bleh face too. In the name of superhero science. And also never being thirsty again if you ever get trapped on an island that looks like a bowl with, a, with an ocean that's made out of water that you put salt in. You get the idea. I'm just gonna go now and drink my water. See ya.